Hello and welcome to this Exclaimer webinar on the topic of making the migration process simple. My name is James, an expert on all the Exclaimer solutions, and today I'll be exploring the entire migration process that is typically undertaken when making the switch from an older on-premise Exclaimer solution to one that is hosted in the cloud. As you can see from our agenda, we'll be looking at nine potential stages or steps that you may need to work through to achieve an easy and painless migration. Let's look at the map for these nine steps. This is our roadmap to a full migration, the nine steps that might need to be completed as part of the process. Though actually, not every step may be in fact necessary, nor does every step need to be completed in this order, or even sequentially. You should be considerate of your process, the one that will work best for you. Now our initial three steps all concern preparation. And these are the steps that can be undertaken even without a trial being started or paid subscription activated. Here, you might consider scheduling a product demonstration to better understand the capabilities of the new Exclaimer solutions that are on offer. A demo can help you to choose the subscription package that best suits your needs. Next, a compliance review may or may not be necessary dependent on internal policies. And finally, unless you're planning to start signature management afresh, a review of your existing setup will greatly aid and expedite moving your existing setup to your new subscription. Now the next three steps are concerned with implementation. This includes starting a new subscription, which will typically be for a 14 day trial, configuring for a proof of concept stage where testing can take place, and finally rolling out fully to replace the functionality of your existing solution. The final steps then are all about consolidation ensuring that your migration is completed to the highest of standards. This includes using the support of Exclaimer to iron out any issues, decommissioning the old on-premises software to avoid conflicts and free up resources, and perhaps most important of all, evolving to achieve more with your new solution, getting better return on investment and capitalizing on the greater potential. So let's now take a look at each of these steps in turn. As you start preparing to migrate, it can be a very good idea to schedule a product demonstration, either from the Exclaimer website or by contacting your account manager or Exclaimer sales representative. These demonstrations are a great way of seeing for yourself the kinds of benefits that you can expect after making the transition to a new Exclaimer solution. An Exclaimer representative can walk you through the new intuitive user interface, the new features that are on offer, and the new ways to use signatures to greater effect. Today, Exclaimer offers two separate solutions for, for signature management, as well as new power-ups that further expand what can be achieved with the email signatures you create. A demonstration is therefore your first chance to see not only how the things you're familiar with have evolved, but as well to be introduced to the new possibilities that you may be unaware of. It is also a fantastic opportunity to discuss the particulars of your migration and the support that Exclaimer can offer. Ultimately, a demonstration can be tailor fit to your needs and include anything and everything that you have interest in evaluating and discussing. For many organizations, uh, the next step that is taken is a security and compliance review. At Exclaimer, we understand that migrating to the cloud can lead to greater scrutiny when compared to an on-premise solution. Let's explore a little bit of the detail regarding these solutions and as well, where you can find more information to aid in any reviews that you deem necessary. 
Well, for a start, Exclaimer hosts its solutions in six different regions, each comprised of two Microsoft Azure data centers. Each regional high availability cluster uses the active active configuration, resulting in both ample load balancing as well as instantaneous failover. Each data center in the pair is in a different geographical location within the region as this prevents issues associated with an entire Azure site going down without compromising on data residency. Now, whilst complete coverage of emails relies upon using these data centers as smart hosts within your mail route, I would be remiss to not say there is a hybrid cloud configuration available where email signatures are designed and stored in the cloud, but they are processed locally in a client server model. Some further important compliance information is that Exclaimer's cloud solutions have a proven reliability, with above a 99.99% .99 uptime being recorded for the solution. There is a public status page available that shows all outages and where root cause analysis always takes place. Regarding security, customer data is protected through encryption with a unique 256-bit certificate. Penetration tests take place annually, and of course, standard protections like DMZs, IPS, and WAF are all in place. We hold both ISO 27001 and 2018 certifications for both information security and for personal data in the cloud. And we have membership to the Cloud Security Alliance and their star rating program. Exclaimer has all of this information and much more located in easily accessible locations. We've collated all useful materials to aid in our customers' compliance review processes. Our online trust center is a great place to start but registering for access to our portal powered by Conveyor is likely to be the most effective means of expediting your review. Within this portal, you'll find useful documents that can be downloaded, such as copies of the certificates, reports, white papers, and policy documents, as well as over 350 questions answered by our technical experts. Next, should you not desire a clean start, we would greatly recommend reviewing your existing setup. This will typically involve identifying first your most important master templates, those signatures that all other designs are based upon. Now, whilst you can recreate these templates yourselves later, it might be a good idea at this time to discuss the use of Exclaimer's template services to convert them for you. Discuss this with an Exclaimer representative for more detail and be prepared to export your designs. Next, pay heed to your policies too. We would recommend transcribing all of the conditions and exceptions for each policy, including signature options, date ranges, and next policy behavior. This will greatly assist later on when you need to re-establish the rules for signature application. Now with these three steps underway or perhaps completed, it will then begin time to start your implementation. A subscription of your new Exclaimer solution can be created in less than five minutes. And each new subscription comes with a 14-day trial period available. An administrator for your email service is necessary to complete the initial configuration that allows the solution to apply signatures. However, users without these privileges can still set up a new subscription and instead get started exploring the new user interface and the new drag and drop designer that allows signatures to be built. It's also incredibly important to stress how customizable this initial configuration is. Some companies choose to set up affecting as little as one mailbox initially. And during your proof of concept stage, it's completely up to you 
how the solution behaves. It's also now when choices can be made as to how the solution will handle email signature deployment. With the subscription and trial established, you can proceed to build out the new subscription to meet your needs and proceed to test within your established parameters. It is now that you'll invite those most important users that are crucial for the initial testing, those that will also evaluate the solution. Anyone who needs to assess management of email signatures should be invited. You'll also want to start recreating your signature templates in the drag and drop designer, or of course, instead import them if they were converted using our template to services. Once you have your designs in place, well now you can refer to that transcribed policy behavior and recreate the rules that establish how and when your signature templates are used. Finally, you'll now want to test send emails and see how the behavior functions and use inbuilt troubleshooting tools like the signature rules tester and diagnostic logs to help ascertain that the solution is working as expected. Once you are happy that the appropriate testing has been completed, you can proceed to fully roll out the solution. This largely involves actions such as removing restrictions that you may have had in place during the proof of concept stages and allowing all pertinent mailboxes to be managed using the new solution. Granting access to every stakeholder you wish to involve in signature management. Remember that with role-based access controls, this may well include new users that are up to now have been impossible to include in the signature management process. You may wish to establish folder security to lock down certain signature templates from certain users, preventing unwanted tampering. Now is a good time as well to consider the training required to skill up new users on how the solution functions and how to achieve things like building new signature designs, editing existing ones, and changing signature behavior. Finally, make sure at this point in time that all necessary signatures are indeed being deployed as you require. At this point in time, the solution really should be as close as is necessary to performing the same function as your previous on-premise solution. Our final three steps concern consolidation, ensuring continued success with your new product. To begin with, should there be anything that isn't working as you would like it to, contact should be established with Exclaimer support team now. Well, throughout your entire migration, and now subsequently with the solution established, our support team is available to provide assistance whenever required. Our support team is available 24 seven and our sales teams are available during working hours. Both teams are located in five different countries and can be reached by live chat, tickets, phone or email. Once you are happy that your setup is complete, you can consider retiring your old solution entirely. Start perhaps by turning off from within its settings the option to process policies. All of our on-premise solutions have such an option within the settings and it's a great place to start. Then, after some time, when you are ready and confident that all relevant data has been mig migrated across, well, now you can completely uninstall the solution from your server and recover the resources it once took. It is also a good idea to review your GPO scripts and remove any GPO associated with your older on-premise solution. With that, the final step to consider is growing your usage of your new Exclaimer solution, especially 
where new features are concerned. Consider that more frequent changes to your email signatures, now that the process of design is far easier, should be possible. Email signatures can now at last become a fully-fledged digital marketing channel used alongside campaigns. Consider as well the new deployment option available, such as perhaps the add-in for Outlook, which may enhance the user experience. If you are making use of Exclaimer Signature Marketing Cloud, explore new features that have never been part of an Exclaimer solution before, like the User Details Editor, where users can add and maintain user information including custom information such as pronouns, working hours, and more. Or take a look at the analytics dashboards that reveal the effectiveness of your email signature strategy, sharing important metrics such as views, click-through rates, and return on investment. Now is also a great time to consider the benefits of adding a power-up to your subscription too. Add the signature appointments power-up to add appointments booking to your email signature and make scheduling appointments, calls, meetings, or demonstrations a simple process for your customers or clients, thus improving the customer experience and simultaneously saving your staff precious time. The signature feedback power-up allows a one-click survey to be easily added to suitable email signatures and is proven to be effective at generating customer feedback and providing reliable data that measures the effectiveness of your customer-facing teams at every single email touchpoint. We most of all hope, though, that this migration opens up the opportunity to increase the role of your marketing team in email signature management, as truly this is where the greatest return on investment can be found. By providing these users access, or well, they can improve your signature designs over time and seek to achieve more with them as your email signatures become the fully fledged communications channel we intend them to be. Thank you all so much for your time. I hope today we have given you the necessary insights into the process of migration, alongside some advice to help you feel confident to explore a migration in the not too distant future. Do however, please feel free to contact us to discuss anything further, as we'd be delighted to explore your migration with you in more detail. For now, thank you once again and goodbye.